All right, brother. Well, a uh, big moment for you in your professional career, yeah. you know, notching that UFC win. Give me an idea. What's, uh, what's the emotion like for you right now? Feels great. Long time coming. Again, my first UFC debut felt kind of rushed. It wasn't under the right circumstances, but I got my I got my foot in the door, and now I'm ready to perform. Let me ask you, I mean, the way you came in was so difficult, right? I mean, yeah. coming in against an opponent like that. Yeah. Any, any regrets to it that way? I mean, do you feel like it, it set you back at all? No, it didn't set me back. No regrets. I mean, it got my foot in the door. And super tough fight, I cut 26 pounds in 10 days. It was a it was a tough wake up for me. No training camp, but it got my foot in the door and it led to this. How much different did tonight feel as far as like fight week? I mean, now you've gone through it, you know what it feels like. How much different did this week feel? It felt like I've been there, done that. I just I was just in Vegas with my wife, Montana, out there, experienced that, and then my debut, and then now this. It just felt like another day in the office. Uh, good fight tonight. Uh, how did it play out as far as versus your expectations? It was a good scrap. It felt great. I just wanted to walk him down. Again, I knew I was going to be bigger, stronger, so I just wanted to keep walking him down. I was watching uh, Charles the Crazy Horse, watching me like crazy armbar spin. So when he triangled me, I, I'm picking up 180 pound, 190 pound guys in the gym, easy. So when I when I felt him, I was like. It was like picking up a dumbbell, so I was like a triangle defense, spinning them, throwing them in the cage. So that, I was going to say, is that something you practice, or was that I really you I never practiced it, but I was just watching. I was on Facebook, and I tried the crazy horse. Always, his highlights are always popping up. And I seen a couple times he's getting armed, he's spinning. So the guy goes flying in the cage. I did that twice tonight. When he, I've never done that technique ever. My coach is probably going to kick my butt for it, but... <laughs> It was, I had some fun out there. Was it tight at all? I mean, while no, you were no, doing it? No, it was, it was not tight at all. I knew it was going to get him dizzy. He was just like, he, I looked at his face and he was just like, the hell is he doing? He can tell no one's ever done that before. And I've never even done that before, but who knows? My instincts just kicked in. So is that part, you think that's part of the arsenal now? Or are you going to go back probably, to that? It's, I probably will. It's probably go to now. Nice. Uh, give me an idea. I mean, you said you know, your, your wife last week. I mean, it's a big week for the family, right? I mean, yeah. give me an idea just what that feels like. You guys both picking up wins a week apart. It feels great. We were just in Vegas. She wins. We're naked choke. Now we're in Idaho. I win. We're naked choke. It feels great. It's a who, great experience. Who did it better? I don't want to sleep on the couch. She did it better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tyler, now you got this moment underneath you. I mean, what comes next? I mean, I know it's still early in your career, but are you eyeballing names, dates, locations? I'd love to fight in Texas. Uh, there's a Texas card in September. Yeah. I think I'd love to get on that. I got no injuries. I feel great. I feel good. It seems like they already got it mostly matched up, but I'd love to be on there or the Colorado card. I'd love to fight soon. I wouldn't want to be benched. If you want to put us in the same fight card, we're ready. Awesome, brother. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.